a pretty name, Stana. Thank you. What, what, what nationality is that? Uh, my parents were from what was Yugoslavia, and so they gave me that name after my grandmother. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, gosh, your parents must just love what's happened to your career. Do they get such a kick out of it? I think, I think it's really exciting. You know, I mean, they came to this country as immigrants and, you know, started from the ground floor and worked their way up. And so just to kind of find that American dream experience coming true for them is really nice, especially for their child, you know? I bet. And it must be so joyful for you to be able to share this with them. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I, you come from a big family, mm -hmm. as do I. There's, I'm one of six. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh, wow. And so, like, we, we kind of, as a little mini community, are being able to kind of just have a laugh at it, you know, and share it with each other. So it's been really nice. Do you call them and tell them stuff about, I mean, you know, like I was doing this and I was doing that. Where are yeah. they now? Where were you raised? Um, so some of them are in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Some of them are off in Europe and Florida. So everybody's kind of all over the place at this point. So do you go to the big events? Have you been to the Oscars? I just went to the Oscars. The, the, the latest one. Uh, which was... What was that experience like? Um, you know, I'm like... Hey, Mom, guess what I'm doing? Are you working very hard? Yes, Mom, I'm working really hard. Um, I'm going to the Oscars. To the what? To the Oscars, Mom. She's like, fantastic. And so one of the first experiences over there is like, you know, you walk down this red carpet, which is phenomenal because, I mean, all of the most amazing actors in history have walked the Oscar red carpet. And mm -hmm. so to be able to kind of share that space with these people that I so admire was just such an honor. And then... Um, I go to the washroom, I come out, and my friend is sitting there talking to, hello, Sigourney Weaver, who, I don't know if you guys have ever seen her in real life, but she is, like, ginormous. The woman is probably six feet tall, flat-footed, and I meet her in high heels, and she's, like, seven foot two. And I'm absolutely, like, this woman is, like, a female hero. She could play, like, an Amazon queen, and I'm just like, hello, Miss Weaver. <laughs> You're very statuesque. Is that what you said? Yeah, and she oh, goes, that was nice. Well, you're very statuesque as well, Miss Caddick. And that was about the extent of it, but it was just really wonderful to be able to meet her, you know? I bet. Yeah, I thought you grew up in Canada, though, right? I um, was born in Canada. Like and Don. I Don. Don right. as mm -hmm. well. And I grew up in Canada and in, Toronto, in uh, Chicago as well. And how did what did your folks do to, to... Furniture store. Oh, they did. That's yes. how they started. Yes, yes. And that, is that what they still do? They still have a furniture store out there in the Midwest, outside of Chicago now. Oh, and, that's um, great. Yeah, we've all been a part of taking care of the family business, um, which is actually kind of really neat because, you know, you grow up with six children, and we've all helped out somehow, either mm -hmm. sold stuff or moved furniture around. And, you know, there's always that experience where, you know, you have little children running around who don't exactly respect your parents trying to sell a, a chair or something like that to a person. And I remember my mom telling me this story about me at three years old. And I, the way that little child's mind works right. is that, you know, you don't always connect that men don't necessarily have babies and things right. like that, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's this guy who my mom was trying to talk to about a couch, and she said that I walked straight up to him at three, started tugging on his shirt, tugging on his shirt, excuse me, excuse me, are you pregnant? Because he had a big oh, no. fear belly. <laughs> and that was my connection. Oh, go, well, well, yeah. <laughs> I think that's adorable, though. <laughs> it, it is. It is. And did you know as a little girl you had a performance side to you? Did you always want to be an actor? I always wanted to. I was four, and I knew. Four? I was, yeah. Wow. I was asked at a pizza parlor by a family friend, oh, so what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, I want to be an actress. And my dad looked on in horror and he said, you mean a dentist, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I always knew. I absolutely always knew. And how nice that it's all worked out for you the way it is. Are you having fun on Castle? I am. We have a really wonderful crew and wonderful co-stars. I mean, I know that there's some really great fans out there. I got to meet some yeah. of you recently. Now, I saw a photograph of Tom Bergeron guest starring. Yes. And he doesn't look like he's in good shape. Well, Not him personally, his character. This is what we like to do to our guest talk show. Yeah, hosts. what do you do? Shall we see the photograph? Oh, do we have it? Can we show it? Oh, great joy. <laughs> it's a painful experience. <gasps> so is it fun working with Tom? Tom's astounding. I didn't I didn't realize how much um, talent and how much uh, speed a person has to have as a host. And I got to see that at the Paley Festival. I went to a Paley Festival recently. A lot of fans got to attend. 
And he's just absolutely amazing. He keeps things really lighthearted, keeps things moving, and he's super funny. It was really nice to have him on set and guest with us for a bit. I'm sure he loved it too. He's yeah. on, you know, gets to be on the show. Yeah, and yeah. And it kind of ties in really nicely because we're right after Dancing with the Stars, you know? So yeah. he gets to cheer on his own episode when it comes up in the near future. Stana, it's so nice to meet you. Thank I enjoy you your work me. on the show. You guys can see Stana on Castle Monday nights on ABC. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.